Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Kristen and I'm going to take you along as I get ready for my next show. Stay tuned to the end when I'll go over how I did, what sold best, and if I do the show again. My next show is one I've never done before. It's a vintage expo. So I'm just, today is Thursday and tomorrow is set up and then Saturday is the show. So we're two days away. So today I wanted to start getting my inventory ready and making sure I had all my display pieces set. I'm out in my garage. I have my wooden display pieces all ready to bring. I nest everything in itself. I put in the pieces for my hat display, my little trays, and then I have this to display a blanket on. I have bags and packages that I have to label. I have to fold my wagon down. I have my chair. My little table that goes under one of my big tables. I have my bed razors that I'll put under one of my tall tables to make it tear nicely. Then I have a folding tray that I'll put some checkout items on in the back. I'm not going to bring this first six foot table. I have three of them. I'm just going to bring these other two. They're lighter. Then I'm going to bring my four foot table. And like I said before, my other little table, so two big tables and two little tables, and I'm gonna put the little ones under the big ones. I have these are called moving bags. I really like these. They can be carried as a backpack or they fit really well in the folding wagon and they're nice and lightweight. I used to use all big plastic bins, but I like these a lot better. Right now the bags are filled with inventory that I had left from my last show, which was a farmer's market, so I have to switch out that inventory. This is my palm bin. I usually put my palm hats in um, with the palms on top, so that way they don't get squished, and I also bring a brush to fluff them up when I take them out. I'm back up in my office slash craft room. I have my bags with me, and I'm going to take out everything that doesn't match. So this is the first time I'm ever doing this show. So I'm going to be doing four colors. So greens, oranges, beiges, and I'm going to set aside all of my items that fit into those categories, or it seems like they would fit a 70s theme. And then I'm going to figure out my tags. sorted out the colors that I want to bring. So my next step, I'll show you what I brought. This is the start of the items I'm going to bring. I'm bringing my bucket hats. This pattern is available in my Etsy shop, a pot new studio. I'm bringing a few brown baby hats. I'm bringing my double brim beanies that I made on my knitting machine. Um, some of them have tags on already, like this little mushroom tag. And there's my Bigfoot tag. Some of them still need tags, so I'm going to be working on those next. Then I'm bringing some palm beanies. I have these cute little purses. These are usually pretty popular, so I'm hoping they do well this week. So I'm bringing a few different colors of these. And I have this pattern on my Etsy shop as well. I also think I might have a video on it on my YouTube. I'd have to check, but I'll put the links below for whatever I do have. One messy bun beanie. These are my slouch hats. They have a really nice slouch. I have that pattern available on my Etsy shop. Bringing chapstick holders. I have to pull some more out and coordinating colors. I have to find, I have towel hangers for this that will coordinate the colors. I have these basic hats. Then I have headbands. So I have an owl, mushroom, trees, another mushroom, little cat, and a camper van. Then I have two blankets and a couple scarves. Some items that aren't pictured that I also brought were bows, headbands, and wristlet straps. So I will show you the next step in a minute once I get all my tags out. So when I was looking for my tags, I found some more hats that fit in with my color theme. My original video had too much background noise, so I muted that video, and then I'm just going to talk over the video this way. And so this hat was made with two strands of yarn. The first strand was an acrylic yarn, and the second strand was a sock weight yarn. 
My second one was an acrylic and a sock weight yarn again, and it worked up into this toddler size hat. And then I had some basic color hats that also matched the color theme that I'm doing. This one is made with Lion Brands Anti-Pill. It's their basic stitch yarn. It makes the perfect men's size hat. I used one entire skein to make that hat. And then I have one more gray one here and a brown one, again, made with two different strands of yarn. This one is made out of bamboo, another bamboo one, another basic one. These are the tags I made for the show. I have some golden trees. Then with white yarn, I made mushrooms, which I have to trim the jump stitches with, Bigfoot, camper van, owls, and more trees. Then I had a local embroiderer help me make some tags for my beer mitts. So he's able to make a whole bunch more on one sheet than I am. So I'm gonna cut those out and punch them and put them on all of my beer mittens. These are my favorite scissors to cut out my tags with, so I will link them in the description box below. And then this is the tool I use to punch the holes. So I have some tags too that I've cut out and made before. So one of my tips is always to try to use what you have. I've been switching, I've switched now to the faux leather for my fold over tags, but I still had some of this fabric from when I was embroidering baby hats and I would put this as like the patch and then I'd embroider on the patch and then attach the patch to the hats. And so I think the green will complement the orange or even the browns too. And I have some beiges. So anyway, just a tip on trying to like think outside the box on what you have rather than buying new things like fabric for your tags. Now that my tags are cut out, I'm going to be using a magnetic screwdriver to add them to the brims of my hats. And I will link the size Chicago screws that I use on here. I'm not sure which length these are. I'll have to check which ones I bought. But you want to get ones that aren't too long so it doesn't stick out from your hat or aren't too short. So that way you can't get it through all of the different layers. Using a magnetic screwdriver makes it easier to add on your tags. Mushrooms are really popular right now. I buy these buttons from Joann's and I put them on my crossbody bags and they've definitely helped increase sales. So I finally finished adding on all my buttons. I added on this little mushroom button to my purses and my tags. And I have two full bags of inventory ready to go. So tomorrow is set up. So I will be going over and setting up my tables and my display pieces and adding all my items. Then I'll probably just drape a couple sheets over it and then it'll be ready to go for Saturday when the show begins. I will be back tomorrow with some more behind the scenes. It's Friday and I'm going to head out and set up my booth. I have everything packed in my car. So everything fits nice in the car. I have my bags, my tables. Some people recommend putting these on top of the tables so that way when you take them out first, they're not underneath everything. But if I put my handle here, they slide out easily. So that's not a problem. I have my wagon and I made sure that I have enough space to see through the back. I'll just probably move those bags quick before I leave. And that is it. I only had about 45 minutes to set up on the first day, so I ran out of time, but I was able to get all of my big display pieces set up as well as my tables. This is how I left my tables in my setup for overnight, and I came back the next morning to finish and put out all the rest of my items. I got there early to finish setting up and set up just before the doors opened. There was a big line and lots of people came in ready to shop, so I didn't get too many pictures in the beginning. I just finished the market, so I didn't calculate what I made yet, but I came back with, or I'm coming back home with a lot less than I brought, and it was pretty busy all day, especially the morning. I did have a couple items that completely sold out and a couple more that did really well and almost sold out. I completely sold out of beer mitts, I sold out of my headbands, and I sold out of all but one or two men's size hats. I also completely sold out of all my crossbody bags with the mushroom button. I sold a few of my ruffle brim bucket hats. I did not sell very many of my thick knit hats. However, this show was at the end of March, so I think that was a contributing factor because it was just too warm out. Considering the date, I was very surprised how many items I sold overall, including my double layered knit hats and my beer mitts.
Some other items that sold were a few bows, a few wristlet straps, and also some chapstick holders. Overall, it was a really successful market. I ended up making 12 times my booth fee, so I would definitely do it again next year.